This is 1 Samuel chapter 16. In verse 7, it says, But Yahweh said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, on the height of his statue, because I have refused him. For Yahweh seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahweh looketh on the heart. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash. Yahweh been the name of the Father, who people are going to call God. Yahweh Shah is his son, who people are going to call Jesus. Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, Lord will to the end, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. Lord will this lesson be added upon to the elect. Going into day on. Uh, Yahweh looketh on the heart. You know, uh, man, people, we go off the outward appearance. Majority of the time, you know, we looking on the outward appearance on how Jake looked <clears throat> and not really taking the time and really looking on what's going on in the inward you know, uh, men, men, men and women, you know, but men, you know, we, as men, we, we're uh, attracted to the outward appearance initially, you know, so we really could be caught off guard. That's why this, in this, uh, this parable where, you know, uh, where David was, was the last to be. Uh, considered because of his outward appearance instead of you know what Yahweh could see on that was going on on the inward so I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures and Lord will you know this lesson be edifying to the elect because you know we still can be that way you know but we know that what people see on our outward appearance you know, uh, how how people uh, perceive us as a hopeful elect could be mis, mis, uh, misconstrued, you know, meaning like they, they don't see it. They don't see anything special about us. You know, they don't see that we could be of that hopeful elect. But, you know, the Heavenly Father, he sees what's going on on the inward so lord will we are of that elect because some of us you know uh you know we may have a speech brothers got speech impediments uh got different ailments you know brothers look different you know you got not may not be the most handsome uh man or you know may not be a tall man may not be built you know, strong brother might be skinny or might be have a little, you know, belly or whatever, have some extra weight on him. But Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, he's constantly looking on what's going on on the inward of us. And that's what that's what matters. That's what counts. At least in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So that's all that matters for us. That's all that we care about. And that's why we always working on, on the inward man more than this outward. We understand that scripture talk about where the bodily exercise profit little. So we do, you know, a little to, to take care of this body. You know, we do what's necessary to Lord will to keep it going, to keep it in motion. But we know what really counts is what's going on on the inward part of us. So we do the things necessary to Lord will build up our inner man, 
our spirit, the real us, you know, whether it be praying, fasting, reading, you know, all these things help, you know, with the inward man of us. So I'll, again, Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. I'm going to jump to uh, Psalms 147 and 11. It says, Yahweh taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. And that's what we're doing, man. We have in hope in the mercy of Yahweh Shemal Shah. We're hoping that he continually have mercy on us. Because we know as we are, we filthy rags. You know, we, we it's only through the grace of Yahweh Shemal Shah that he has allowed us to come into this. It was a lesson I just uh watched from a brother. Slaki, I don't know the brother's name, but you know he did a very edifying lesson. I believe the brother's uh, channel is GMS Spiritual Battle Axe, and uh, he was just going in on how we should be really excited about being a part of this truth in the last days. You know, so really being grateful and appreciative of this truth. So I, I concur, you know, I, I I agree, man. We definitely need to be, as a matter of fact, appreciative and, you know, thankful and grateful for what we have. Because we could have been lost like two-thirds of these so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans that's out here. You know, a lot of them are gone, you know. And there ain't no, it's nothing that can be done about it. But watch the missiles drop. And that's the only a uh, resolution for two thirds of our people. They need they need death, you know. And then this world, this whole world is, is just need a reset. They need a new new uh, rulership because the way that is being ran is so far gone that people see bad as good and good as bad. But again, those is signs of the times that. You know, we in the end times, we in the, the, the last days. So I'm going to jump to this. Uh, I'm going to read it again. Psalms 147 and 11. It says, Yahweh will take his pleasure in them that fear him. And that's where this scripture says, uh, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we had that healthy fear of the heavenly father, man. So it says, Yahweh will take a pleasure in them and fear him and those that hope in his mercy. Because we are hoping for the mercy of Yahweh Shemeshah. We're not concerned about, you know, the outward of us as much as we are on the inward man. You know, we're constantly trying to daily, you know, uh, examine ourselves, whether we be in the faith, just making sure that we on the up and up, you know, it's a mind thing. It's the battle of the mind, the spirit, man, the heart, you know, so this, this thing is, is, it's on our, it's on our plate every day. You know, it's like a daily dose. You got to take it daily, you know, like the apostles, uh, channel daily edification. He has that daily. It's a daily thing. It's a daily thing that we constantly just Lord will being on the, in the right spirit, you know, checking ourselves. Checking the things that's going on around us. The brother did another uh, lesson. The same, the same uh, brother. He was going in on basically being truthful to uh, to brothers. Matter of fact, I'm gonna uh, let me go to it so I will say the lesson correctly that that brother did. It was called. It was called uh, "Take Heed." If you see your bro slipping, you check him. You know, and that's that's uh, this lesson. I believe it was excellent, excellent lesson. And that's again, that's that brother GMS Spiritual Battle Axe. Go subscribe, man. He just from the I, ne I never watched his videos, but this is a, a first time a brother posted it on, on the main chat, and then you know uh, got introduced to this brother. So. He got a bomb spirit. I like, you know, and the lesson that he brought out on this one, 
you know, it just being real uh, genuine, how we should be towards one another. You know, it's very important. So I'm just jumping around Salakia, but uh, let me get back to it. This is uh Isaiah, because he's not looking up on on that. The point is he's not looking on outward appearance. You know, he's looking how we supposed to be. You know, uh, inwardly. You know, inward the inward man is renewed day by day. You know, it's, it's our spirit should we should constantly be renewing this our mind, man. Because this mind is, just think how many years, however many years you were in the, you know, quote unquote world before you came to this knowledge, before you came to the understanding of who you were, you know, once we found out who we are, were and, you know, found out the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, it all made a, a big difference in life, you know, so that's a, that's a reminder you know, on, on, you know, the the change that comes from just the names and, you know, having the spirit of Yahweh Shema shot through faith. So let me get back to these scriptures. So let's start veering off Salaki. This is Isaiah chapter 55. And verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahweh. That's what that we can't even try to, you know, you know, get on get on the most highest level. His thoughts are not our thoughts, his ways are not our ways. So, you know, man to think just on the outward while he's doing the total opposite. He's looking on the inward. He's checking us from the inside out. Like how we supposed to do with the, the apostle <laughs> apostle Tahar always go in on that on. Uh, Jake, uh, just look at a car from the outward, you know, look at the, uh, maybe the sound system, the paint job, the interior decor, you know, how I saw it, but won't look at the, the real thing that matters at the engine, you know, whether it's rusted up underneath, how the tires are, Jake won't do all that. He, he just worried about the cosmetics, but that's the total opposite of how you, how about Shimei Shai is he really looking on the inside of us he really checking who we are you know even though he knows us he, he's because he he knew us from the beginning so that's why we always are doing self-examination of ourselves making sure we on the up and up so i'm gonna jump to the next one i want to extend this make it too long luke 16 And 15 says, And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. The Most High knoweth your hearts, but that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. That's like what I was saying earlier, how, you know, good here is considered bad and Bad here is considered good. And all that's an abomination to the most high. Like how they turn, you know, the uh, the rainbow into, you know, the alphabet group. You know, how, how things of that sort are being rewarded here. So th this place, hey, again, man, it's just got to, it's got to be done away with because you know, women, women here, you know, get, get paraded for having fake everything from top to bottom. And they, they're, they're, uh, looked at as something precious or, you know, uh, some type of value here. You know, when you got, they even call themselves Barbies and Barbie is, is what, it's just a fake prosthetic plastic. And that's what, these women have turned into they want to be fake you know with no no substance on the inside of them at all which makes them you know that much more disgusting when they don't have no type of substance in them they don't know how to cook they don't know how to clean they don't know how to treat 
a, a man, let alone, let, a, let alone another, just a human being. They don't know how to, you know, have a conversation. They don't know how to, how to deal. They don't know how to be, how, how to have no uh, respect. It is now they, now they full of tattoos and piercings, you know, with, with bright ass hair and bonnets fake nails and fake eyes and fake eyelashes and fake tits and fake asses, fake lips, you know, fake hair, the list goes on, but you know, they want a real one, come on man, this place is all, it's full of, full of, full of, uh, fakeness, you know, but again, that's why I gotta be done away with. And that's why the Heavenly Father, he looking on the inward of you women that's out there that's doing what's right. You know, you're not looking for the limelight. You, you in the cut, just, you know, just really just being uh, appreciating if you are with a man or you appreciate men from afar or, you know, you're doing what's right. You're not out there being a smut. The Heavenly Father, he sees that and he's going to reward you for that. It's not going unnoticed. Men may not you know, give you the accolades for, for doing what you're supposed to be doing. But Yahweh Hashem Shai, he is. I'm going to jump to this next one. This is uh, 1 Peter 3. Excuse me. 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, but let it be the hidden man of the heart. And that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of the most high of great price. Having that meek and quiet spirit, you know, being what the scripture say, the meek shall inherit the earth. You know, just being, you know, at, at peace. And I ain't saying that you got to be a, a mild mannered brother. You know, you got brothers that's hype, you know, that got major energy. You know, they bring that to the table. You know, and that's a balance. You, know, you got brothers that's real laid back and chill. You know, so it's all balance. But ultimately, Yahweh Shemuel Shai again. He just he's looking at not just, but he's looking at our heart. He's looking at the, the the minds of us. You know, that heart goes back to the mind. He's looking on the inward. What are we thinking about? What are we, you know, and and that's why it's important for us to constantly be, you know. Doing things that's necessary to keep our mind stayed on Yahweh Shema Washah. Whether it's reading, whether it's, you know, listening to videos. Not that we don't take pauses from that. You got to. Because you can get overwhelmed. You know, you got to have some type of little, maybe you got a, some type of hobby or something you get into. You know, but it all always come back to Yahweh Shema Washah. You know, whether it, it, it be uh whatever it is that you do, you know you could be into, you can be into fishing, you could be into uh, uh, horseback riding, you could be into uh, painting, you know, music, whatever, whatever your thing is, you know that help that help you kind <clears> of <throat> semi like detach, but you really attach because everything is, is spiritual, you, especially you know you have an eye. You start seeing everything got a, a spiritual, you know, twist to it when you look at it. So, but just, excuse me, hearing this, you know, being engulfed in this truth 24-7, it, it could burn you out. So, you got to, you got to have a release. You got to, you know, you got to, you got to take a pause for the cause. Go watch a movie or something. Go, go, you know. Go sit back, just chill with your woman, talk to your woman or your C's or if you got a dog or something, you know, because, you know, it's a balance. It's a balance. But anyway, let me jump over to this next one. This is, uh, I'm going to get this last one. This is John chapter seven. I'm going to close it on this one. John chapter seven and verse 24 it says, judge not. According to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment, you know, so not on the outward, like every, like like the majority does, you know, a woman won't even give you a time of day because, you know, your outward appearance. That's why you see a lot of those little YouTube videos when they doing a 
gold digger pranks, or not pranks, but they do a gold diggers. There's a woman, she looking at him from the outward, and he, you know, he may look uh, unmaintained, you know, where he, you know, look kind of scruffy. But then they see what he hop into, and then, then they get on him. So the Heavenly Father, he's not like that. And neither should we be. You know, but you know, we're still in these flesh, so at times we may we may be that way. You know, you might judge a bit book by try to judge a book by its cover. But the Heavenly Father even says that about the angels. He said, you know, where you you may be entertaining a, a angel underwear. So an angel could come in different, you know, different forms where you don't even know, you know, what you how you that's why we gotta be careful how, how we deal. And who we deal and you know how we how we get down with folks because we never know and especially how we treat one another we got to make sure you know because we don't know who who each one of us are coming back so you know how we treat one another is very important so lord willis was edifying to the elect out there and with that all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rakakodash Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you walk him out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.